All right, thanks so much. It's time now to take a look at what's trending with our digital producer, Trent Gilbreth. Hello, my friend. Hello, Trent. Hello, Karen Gineer. How are you? So, I'm good. This Great. this guy is not. No. I Yesterday, you welcomed Brian Luttrell of Backstreet Boys fame. Well, his, his son, Bailey. Yes. Which, watch on our Facebook page. It's such a great performance. It really is. Love. Um, He's good. But their manager, as well as NSYNC's manager, Mr. Lou Pearlman, uh, apparently conned both boy bands out of millions of dollars. And <laughs> Lou, um, not Lou, Lance Bass yes. of NSYNC fame co-produced this new documentary on YouTube Premium mm -hmm. went out today, uh, Boy Band Con. And it is all about the con of Lou Pearlman. Yes. The, in sync, you know how hot they were in the mid to late right. 90s, right? So by the late 90s, three years in, they had yet to get a paycheck. This is incredible. I was just listening to a podcast, yes. not to take over your story. Please. But Lance was saying they went to this fancy dinner, their managers were there from Germany, their parents, mm -hmm. and they got these envelopes. They hadn't been paid for three years. They'd sold over 10 million records. Yes. And they opened the envelope, and I don't know, should I say how much it was say for? It, girl, say it, that Ten thousand dollars for each of them. Ten thousand. And he said Lou was like so excited and was like, yeah. isn't this the best? And that the manager from Germany was like, I don't know what's going on. You guys should be making way more money. There should be much more zeros on that yes but he also said when you're in it you can't like you don't know what to say because you're also excited so for 10k yeah. after their sold out concerts constant memorabilia yes. well, all he, the he, fans. yeah he said after that they were like yeah. all right enough with this but oh my god is, so lou perlman went on to do another ponzi scheme 10 years later funneling the money from boy bands was arrested Died in prison in 2016. Tragic story, gross, but Lance yes. Bass has this boy band con. It was out at South by Southwest first, got rave reviews, kind right. of going in depth on, on that horrible. And also to circle back to Brian Luttrell, so AJ oh. is interviewed in the documentary okay. because Backstreet Boys said he would be the best person to tell their story, and that's why the, he's the only one that's in oh, wow. the doc. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. so that's who they pulled from. That's who they, the yeah, they got okay. AJ. He wow. must have been free that day. <laughs> Amazing. I don't know. Well, yeah, on a lighter note, yes. BSM, uh, BSB goes on tour mm -hmm. this summer with Bailey. Love <gasps> so that. So exciting. Um, back to Bailey's. But child breakdowns. Um, mm. Tom tweeted out this about his three year old, a meltdown uh, about the banana being too small, the top of the banana slightly <laughs> squashed. Honey on porridge doesn't sufficiently mm. resemble a swimming pool. Um, mm. So once he tweeted that <laughs> out, we heard from other moms and dads. Uh, bananas seem to bring on <laughs> insane behavior in a very unrivaled way. Uh, unrivaled yeah. uh, as far as any other fruit. Right, and bananas, right. are they trouble at your home? Um, well, Isaac enjoys a banana. James does not. Um, okay. Anything will set Isaac off, though. He he wants you to sit in a certain place. He wants you to wow. drink a certain thing. This morning, I put my coffee on the table, and he said, no, no, it goes on this side of the table. And he put a coaster. I mean, they're very particular, those three-year-olds. I don't know. What do they do if the coffee is not on the coaster and no. they, they just kind of break down? Well, I don't want to annoy people at home, but there's lots of screaming and yelling and ma. <laughs> and then you're like, what? And so then what do you down. do? Do you just put, I just put it down where he wanted me to because I wanted him to stop. But yes. then it's like, are you giving in to the tiny little dictator? But don't, how do you pick your battle? I don't know. It's mom. hard. Being moms, it's hard. I don't know how you do it. And dads. Um, okay. But tweet us at ATL and Co. Any meltdowns in your life? And finally, uh, <laughs> Tiki Modern Tropical Cocktails. This is a cocktail book from the first uh, oh. African-American bartender in over 100 years to release a cocktail book. Uh, her name is... <gasps> I love that. Ooh, I'm going to buy, buy that. Yes. Doesn't it look great? Shannon. We were talking yes. about Tiki and Decatur, that great little yes. bar. Just like that. So enjoy. Thanks again. Okay. All right. I'm going to get that book and I'm going to fix you a cocktail Ooh. if you'd so like to partake in one. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you right back here on Friday. Christine's having a lovely time in Mexico. She misses you all. She sends her love. Have a great Thursday.